Okay. Bond to keep. So the or the court may order any person against whom a protection order is issued to give a bond to keep the peace to present two sufficient surities who shall uh, undertake that such person will not commit the violence sought to be prevented. Should the respondent fail to give the bond as required, he shall be detained for a period which shall in no case exceed six months if he shall have been prosecuted for acts punishable under Section 5A to F and not exceeding 30 days kung 5G to uh, L naman ang na-violate niya. The protection orders referred to the two in this section are the TPOs and TPOs. Okay. Prescriptive period. Acts falling under sections 5A to F shall be prescribed, shall prescribe in 20 years. Familiar na ba kayo sa prescription? Um, this is the time allotted to a certain for, to a certain person uh, para makapag-file ka ng case. Okay. So, kung ang na-violate niya yung nasa sections 5A to 5F, meron siyang 20 years. So, kung nangyari ang isang act ng 2000, pwede pa siyang mag-file hanggang 2020. Okay. Acts, on the other hand, falling under sections 5G to 5L shall prescribe in 10 years. Okay. Uh, violence against women and their children shall be considered a public offense which may be prosecuted upon the filing of a complaint by any citizen having personal knowledge of the circumstances involving the commission of the crime. So kahit sino ay pwedeng uh, mag-file ng complaint basta meron lang silang personal knowledge na merong abuse na nangyayari. Okay. Section 26, Battered Woman Syndrome as a Defense. So, ito yung binabanggit natin. Uh, victim survivors who are found by the courts to be suffering from Battered Woman Syndrome do not incur any criminal and civil liability, notwithstanding the absence of any of the elements for justifying circumstances of self-defense under the revised penal code. Uh, so, book one ito ng RPC. Uh, justifying circumstances under self-defense because uh, sabi ko nga sa inyo uh, well, yung lalaki, yung perpetrator obviously, and then he does he does this series of acts na violent at yung babae ang dating na, na iipon niya Isipin nyo siyang gano'n, naiipon lang niya yung sama ng loob niya. Then one day, nag-snap na lang siya. Kanya, napigilan yung sarili niya. May nagawa siyang hindi maganda sa laki sa kanyang asawa or sa kanyang partner. And that would constitute a self -defense. Okay? Kasi nga, matagal na siyang binubugbog. Matagal na siyang inaabuso. Kung baga, naipon na lang. Okay? So, justifying circumstances yan. In the determination of the state of mind of the woman who was suffering from battered woman syndrome at the time of the commission of the crime, the courts shall be assisted by expert psychiatrists or psychologists. Okay? Um, custody of children. The woman victim of violence shall be entitled to the custody and support of her child or children. Children below seven years old, but with or older, but with ulit. children below seven years old or older, but with mental or physical disabilities, shall automatically be given to the mother. Wala nang usap usap yon, matik yon. With the right to support, unless the court finds compelling reasons to order otherwise. Maliban na lang kung tingin ng court ay hindi dapat. Okay. A victim who is suffering from battered woman syndrome shall not be disqualified from having custody of her children. In no case shall custody of minor children be given to the perpetrator 
of a woman who is suffering from battered woman syndrome. So, kahit kailan, hindi ibibigay doon sa perpetrator yung pangangalaga ng anak. Okay? So, duties of barangay officials and law enforcers, basic naman to na, syempre, pag tinawagan mo sila, dapat mag-respond mag sila, di ba? Yan, confiscate deadly weapon, um, et, transport or escort the victims to a safe place of their choice or to a clinic or hospital. Um, assist the victim in removing personal belongings from the house. Assist the barangay officials and other government officers and employees who respond to a call for help. Ensure the enforcement of the protection orders issued by the punong barangay. Arrest the suspected perpetrator without a warrant. Kung may nagawa nga silang uh, acts of violence. And immediately report the call for assessment or assistance of the DSWD or LGU. Okay. Rights of Victims. Section 35. So in addition to their rights under existing laws, victims of violence against women and their children shall have the following rights. Let me go below the screen. Yan, rights of victims. First, to be treated with respect and dignity. To avail of legal assistance from the POW of the Department of Justice, yung Public Authorities Office, or any public legal assistance office. Then, to be entitled to support services from the DSWD, DSWD and LGUs. To be entitled to all legal remedies and support as provided for under the Family Code and to be informed of their rights and the services available to them, including their right to apply for a protection order. Okay. Ano-ano yung mga damages na nandito? Um, any victim of violence under this act shall be entitled to actual damages, compensatory damages, moral damages, and exemplary damages. Okay. Hold departure order. Um, eto yung document na nagsasabing hindi pwedeng umalis ng bansa ang taong mabibigyan nito. So the court shall expedite the process of issuance of a whole deport departure order in cases prosecuted under this act. Okay. Interagency Council on Violence Against Women and Their Children. Ito yung mga agencies na involved. DSWD, CRFW, CFC, CHR, CWC, DOJ, DILG, PNP, DOH, DepEd, DOLE, and NBI. Okay. Section 40, Mandatory Programs and Services for Victims. The DSWD and LGUs shall provide the victims temporary shelters, provide counseling, psychosocial services, and or recovery rehabilitation programs and livelihood assistance. The DOH provide medical assistance to victims. Okay. Counseling and treatment of offenders. The DSWD shall provide rehabilitative counseling and treatment to perpetrators. Hindi na ito sa victim ha. Sa perpetrator, ika-counsel din sila. Uh, rehabilitative counseling. Uh, towards learning constructive ways to cope with anger and emotional outbursts and reforming their ways. Usually kasi ito talaga ang problem. May uh, anger management problem yung mga perpetrators na ganito. Kaya nagiging abusive sila. When necessary, the offender shall be ordered by the court to submit to psychiatric treatment or confinement. Depende kasi sa case, baka may sakit din yung lalaki. Kailangan niyang uh, ma-institutionalize, kailangan gamutin siya. Okay? Then, of course, yung mga taong mag-handle ng uh, cases, 
involving violence against women and their children, kailangan may maayos na training. Okay. Paano kung may trabaho yung biktima? Section 43, entitled to leave. Victims under this act shall be entitled to take a paid leave of absence up to 10 days in addition to other paid leaves under the Labor Code and Civil Service Rules and Regulations extendable when the, necessar when ne when the necessity arises as specified in the protection order. So, alam niyo naman siguro yung usual leaves. Diba? May mga vacation leave. Sa ibang companies, may birthday leave. May sick leave, yung mga yan. Pero kung ikaw ay victim ng isang, ng violence uh, against a by your husband or by your partner, then you are entitled up to 10 days na paid leave. Mas mabuti nang hindi mo magamit yung, yung ganitong leave, di ba? Siyempre, gusto mo yun. Nakalive ka pero nabugbog ka. Naman maganda yun. Okay? Any employer who shall prejudice the right of the person under this section shall be penalized in accordance with the provisions of the labor code and civil service rules and regulations. Likewise, an employer who shall prejudice any person for assisting a co-employee who is a victim under this act shall likewise be liable for discrimination. And then, uh, confidentiality, section 44. All records pertaining to cases of violence against women and their children, including those in the barangay, shall be confidential, and all public officers and employees and public or private clinics to hospitals shall respect the right to privacy of the victim. Whoever publishes or causes to be published in any format, the name, address, telephone number, school, business address, employer, or other identifying information of a victim, or an immediate family member without the latter's consent shall be liable to the contempt power of the court. Kaya, hindi pwedeng uh, ilabas yung pangalan kapag may mga ganitong instances. Kahit magbasa kayo ng mga cases ng court, ang sasabihin lang dyan, uh, victim ABC, uh, girl why, why, why? Mga ganun. Uh, Naka-pseudonym sila. Okay? Any person who violates this provision shall suffer the penalty of one year imprisonment and a fine of not more than 500,000 pesos. Kasi, kapag ang pangalan or any details about the victims uh, have been published, they are they are already subjected to uh, different persons asking them of what happened. Diba? May nangyari hindi maganda sa'yo tapos ang dami pang tanong ng tanong makikichismis lang. Kala mo naman tutulong. Kung baga, diba, kay, kailangan nilang maghilom. Maybe physically dahil may mga bugbog nga sila, may mga sugat sila. And emotionally, kasi nga they've been through a lot. Tapos guguluhin mo lang ng ganun. Kaya hindi ano to kaya pinangangalagaan yung confidentiality. 